You are watching The Story. Every Monday, we bring you a deep dive into the fascinating lives of incredible people. How Robert Kiyosaki Really Built His Fortune. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. As the author of the number one best selling personal finance book of all time, Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki seems to have the path to success all figured out. He offers up guidance in books, seminars, YouTube videos, and his radio show. He claims to have learned everything about entrepreneurship from his rich dad, the father of his friend. But was he really rich before he wrote his book? Today, we are telling the story of how Robert Kiyosaki really built his fortune. But first, a little background. Who is Robert Kiyosaki? Robert Kiyosaki is an entrepreneur, an author, an investor, and a motivational speaker. He became famous thanks to the success of his original Rich Dad Poor Dad book, which was published back in 1997 and bolstered through Kiyosaki's appearance on Oprah. Since then, he's written more than 25 books and founded Rich Global LLC and The Rich Dad Company. He has created financial board games and software and also invests in commercial and residential properties and oil wells. He also makes additional money through Rich Dad seminars, but we'll go in depth on that in just a minute. For now, let's go back to the beginning. Beginnings Robert's first idea for a business came from surfing out of the beaches of Hawaii where he grew up. He noticed surfers had difficulty when it came to what to do with their leather wallets at the beach. So in 1977, at the age of 30, he started a company called Rippers that produced the first nylon and Velcro surfer wallets. He experienced immediate success and his product was even featured in publications such as Playboy and Newsweek. He would later say that this company made him a millionaire by the age of 30. However, the actual amount of money he earned from this venture is unconfirmed. This was the first of several business ventures Robert was engaged in, but through it all, his vision remained clear. The Vision Ever since he was young, Robert had a vision he would be rich. He didn't necessarily know how he would do it or what idea might take off, but the goal was clear. When his Rich Dad Poor Dad book took off, he knew he wanted to build an empire based on the Rich Dad Poor Dad ideas. The ultimate vision for him was to create a source of passive income that would allow him to live the good life while the money kept pouring in. But this would not be achieved without a great deal of difficulty. The Struggle after achieving great success, Rippers quickly went bankrupt largely due to Robert's failure to secure the proper patents and trademarks for his wallet. After this business failed, Robert invested in real estate and small cap stocks, accumulating debt that totaled close to a million dollars. He also started a new company that licensed t-shirts, hats, and other clothing items for heavy metal bands, but that company went bankrupt as well in 1980. He launched a business education company in 1985, teaching about entrepreneurship and investing, although he had little success in these areas. He later ended up selling it for an unknown amount in 1994. Robert has said at this time that he retired at the age of 37 and had financial freedom, although he's never provided any documentation of what actual wealth he may have had at that time. His greatest win was yet to come. The Win Robert said that during his retirement, he began planning for the launch of the Rich Dad Company, although he hadn't written the book yet. Once he did get the book written, it was rejected by numerous publishing houses. Finally, he decided to self-publish, initially printing 1,000 copies. The book slowly began to gain traction as it was beginning to be an underground success thanks to his partnership with Amway, a multi-level marketing company. Then, Robert got the chance of a lifetime to appear on The Oprah Winfrey Show to talk about his book in April of 2000. He almost missed out on this chance because he refused to reveal the identity of the rich dad, but he and the producers finally made an agreement. The Oprah effect made an immediate impact and Kiyosaki ended up selling more than 32 million copies worldwide. It was sold in 102 different countries in 51 languages. It also secured a spot on the New York Times bestsellers list for over six years. 
However, there's been a great deal of controversy surrounding the book, as well as with many of the facts called into question, including the existence of the rich dad. A few critics have also stated that some of his advice is legally questionable, but most of his fortune actually hasn't come from his book sales. How He Really Made His Fortune in 1997, Robert founded a company called Cashflow Technologies, Inc. The Rich Dad and Cashflow brands both fall under Cashflow Technologies. Robert took advantage of the popularity of the book to monetize Rich Dad Poor Dad in every way possible. He also planned for Rich Dad Poor Dad to be more of a brand than a book. In fact, in one interview, Robert called his books advertisements for his higher-priced seminars. As it turns out, this is how he really amassed the majority of his fortune. Initially, he held his own seminars, charging anywhere from $12,000 to $50,000 per head. Then in 2005, Kiyosaki made a deal with the Learning Annex to offer seminars, but then decided to work with Whitney International instead. The Learning Annex later sued him for breach of contract and was awarded $24 million. This forced Rich Global to file for bankruptcy, but before that happened, Whitney International started using his name to promote their Learn to Get Rich seminars. Controversy arose when an undercover reporter went to several seminars and observed the predatory actions of the trainers. The trainers were found to often use intimidation and coercion to upsell the attendees. For example, they would pressure attendees to pay for additional seminars, priced between $450 and $45,000, by increasing their credit limits. Those who went to the seminars were given scripts to show them how to ask for limits of $100,000 and were told to call their credit card companies on the spot. If anyone questioned their methods, they would be thrown out. Robert never attends these seminars himself and has expressed his displeasure at how they're run, but hasn't put a stop to them at all. Whitney International changed its name to Rich Dad Education and still presents workshops throughout the US and Canada. This is now Robert's primary source of income, making him at least $5 million yearly, although he does also continue to make money from book royalties and investments. The Lesson From Robert's story, one lesson that can be learned is to be resilient. When trying to start a business, failure at some level is almost inevitable. Things are probably not going to go just as you imagined, but being resilient and persistent will lead to success in the long run. Even though Robert and his work has been controversial, many people have gained insights and valuable tips from his words and ideas. However, you should be careful with who and what you connect your name and business with, because a wrong choice could be detrimental to your reputation and bottom line in the future. And Aluxers, if you're interested in checking out the book that started it all for Robert, Rich Dad Poor Dad is still available. In this book, Robert promises to change how people think about money and how assets and liabilities are defined. You can hear his bestseller on Audible while also saving about $20 if you go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up, so you can get the audiobook version for free thanks to our partnership with Audible. The Quote while researching his story, we came across this incredible quote from Robert we'd like to share, and it goes like this. The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. In this way, Robert nicely sums up the three things to always remember when working toward your goals. Question. Now that we've reached the end of our story about Robert Kiyosaki, we'd like to know, what's your opinion of this controversial figure? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Believe it or not, but Robert Kiyosaki failed high school twice before graduating. He had particular trouble with his English classes. This seems ironic since he's a best-selling author, but he said there's a big difference between being a good writer and being a best-selling author. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.